you collected every species of mammal on Earth, a whopping one in four would be a bat. There's more than 1,300 species around the world. One is as small as my fingernail, another is as wide as my arms. There's a lot of bats out there. There's also a lot of bats in there. This is a very special place. Beneath our feet is the largest gathering of mammals on Earth, 20 million or so Mexican free-tailed bats. Now for the past 10,000 summers or so, these bats have come up here for the summer in what's known as maternity colony to raise their pups, and they get hungry doing it. Every night around sunset, they head out to eat, and it is an unforgettable sight. Different species of bats eat pretty much every kind of food there is, but the bats that live here are insectivores. Now, a single Mexican free-tailed bat only weighs about as much as two quarters, but all in all, this population will eat a hundred tons of insects in a single night. Now, by doing so, they save farmers billions of dollars a year in lost crops and pesticides that they don't have to use. TV weathermen around here used to see evening storms popping up on their Doppler radar, but then people on the ground would call in saying that there wasn't a rain cloud in the sky. That's because the radar was seeing this. Invading hordes of moths ride high altitude winds toward croplands in the Midwest. Mexican free-tailed bats fly as high as 10,000 feet to intercept them in an epic aerial battle every night. Bats are the only mammals capable of powered flight without using airplanes, a skill they evolved separately from birds and insects. A bat's wing is actually a highly evolved hand, and the flexibility of their webbed wings means that they can generate more lift and maneuver even better than birds. Now as highly adapted as they are, those flexible wings can't generate enough lift to carry the bats straight up out of the cave. So they fly in this sort of cyclone shape to create an updraft. It's like a bat-nado. I hope you're listening, Sci-Fi Channel. It's a tornado made of bats. You know the old saying, blind as a bat? Well, bats are anything but blind. As they pour out of that cave by the millions, they depend on their eyesight to keep from crashing into each other. But once the hunt begins, in the dark of night, another sense takes over. Do you hear that? No, me neither. Bat echolocation frequencies are above the range of human hearing, which is a really good thing. They're so loud, it's like holding a smoke detector six inches away from your ear. In fact, bats have to inactivate their own hearing system when emitting their calls so that they don't drive themselves deaf. Their ears are actually angled to let them hear in stereo so they can triangulate the location of their prey. Scientists found that one moth is even able to jam bat sonar by producing clicks of its own. Hungry bats make a lot of poop. In fact, there's more than 19 meters of guano at the bottom of this cave. Scientists ran out of drilling equipment before they found the bottom. Now, that bat guano decomposes and creates enough heat to keep all of the little baby bats warm. Aww. In addition to eating insects, some bats are important pollinators, or they disperse seeds from the fruit that they eat. Even though bat populations like this one have been here probably since before humans have, they are in danger. Urbanization is taking away habitats and food sources, and imported diseases like white nose syndrome are wiping out whole caves in the eastern United States and spreading. This fungus irritates the skin of hibernating bats, forces them to wake up and fly out when there's no food to eat. They basically starve and die of thirst thanks to an itch. Despite their importance and how amazing they are, these incredible species are still feared and misunderstood. If you want to know more about what you can do to help bats around the world and just to learn more about these awesome animals, check out the link in the description to Bat Conservation International. They're the awesome people who brought us out here today. They own all of this land to protect this natural treasure.